Well, hello, everyone. It's one o'clock again. I, you know, it seems sometimes like it's Groundhog's Day. But yesterday, we were talking about how to build relationships. And my challenge to everyone was to think about the type of people that they really want to connect with and then think about what the benefit is that you can bring to them. Today, I really want to get into how to build the relationships. And a lot of times it's about, you really just, hey, hey, Gordon, how are you? It's about the process of asking questions. Because we really don't know a person, we don't know their needs, their wants, their desires, without the ability to ask questions. And so the questions that I like to ask is, tell me a little bit about you and your business. Tell me about your family. Tell me about what do you like to do on the weekends when you're not doing what you're doing? What is it that, you know, is important to you? What do you value? And then out of that, I can start building those little ties. So let's say, for instance, in fact, this just happened. Uh, a number of my friends on Facebook really love horses. And so one of the things that I saw was a video about a new foal that was eating, walking backwards. Hi, Blue Eagle, Hi, thanks for joining. And so I sent those videos out to those individuals. I shared it in a just a random way of saying, I saw this, I thought you would enjoy it as well. And because of that, I became a conversation. We could build a greater sense of uh, understanding of each other. And that's really what I wanted to do. And so it could be an article, it could be whatever, but if I don't know you and what's important to you, I don't know how to bring that third element that I talk about of being relevant to you. Most of the time when we say, I want to be relevant or I am relevant to a person, what we're looking at is what we do in our product or service. It really isn't about the relationship. See, I think that the products and services that we connect with our perfect clients is a outflow of the relationship. It's not vice versa. It's not that we sell a product or service and then the relationship is built. And so when we do it in this order, we can take the pressure off. You've heard me say over the years that we do not have a mandate to sell, but an obligation to share. And part of that sharing is sharing who we are, showcasing the things that we enjoy uh, people, when I went flying, I showcased that. And, you know, I got a lot of responses from people. Oh, golly, that's what I want to do or that's what I do do. How did you do it? It created a conversation. Conversations lead to deeper relationships. And then out of those, you become safe. And then they want to know maybe there is a deeper relevant piece of who you are that really has an impact for them. And so really what I'm going to suggest today is think about and write down. I know that sometimes we, you know, we have so much on our plate. We, we really feel like we don't have time to do some of this really basic work. But what I'd like to challenge you to do today is write down some of the natural questions. You can ask people that they would give you a hidden or a piece of who they are that normally you would not know. And for those of you that are coming to the boot camp on the 23rd, 24th, and 25th, this will be a great place to use and to really see the impact of these questions because there's going to be a whole lot of people there that you don't know. And because of that, you're going to be able to really see the impact that you're going to have on those individuals at the event. So look and see what those questions could be. And again, I'd like to just offer this. This is just something I'm doing because I want to give back to you uh, for spending the time with me watching the video is I want to help you apply this. So when you write those questions down that you would like to ask your people, or maybe it's even the questions that you're asking right now, and maybe you would like to see if there's a tweak or something that could be done to them to get a, a deeper response from the individuals that you're connecting with please feel free to email those to me. You can just simply do it at Gary, at Gary Barnes, that's B-A-R-N-E-S, international.com. And I'd be glad they did not shut the phone off, so I do apologize for that. 
But anyway, it's really about being able to getting the words that are going to get you the information so you know how to relate and respond to the people you come in contact with. Relationships are built. They're not automatic. But when you come to the conversation with out an agenda, and that's tomorrow's topic, how to really listen in a conversation, actively listening to where what I really talk about is how to hear what they're not telling you or what they're saying without words. They may not even know that they're sharing that, but they're giving you information that because of that information and you're really truly listening, you're going to see what that next question would be. And sometimes that's when you get the response, wow, are you a mind reader? Because most people have not learned how to listen. And when people really know that you're doing that, you will become so unique to them. They will be drawn to you. So we're going to be going into that, that listening style tomorrow. But anyway, I just appreciate each and every one of you for being on these short calls. And hopefully we'll see uh, a lot of new friends, or I know that we will, at the boot camp, the boot camp link. If you know someone, even if you're not able to come, I would so appreciate it if you could take that link and share it with people that might like to know that the event's coming up. It is the last one we'll be doing in 2017 on the three days. So with that, I'll see you tomorrow at 1 o'clock, and have a great day. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.